Storm Tracker 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Hey, what's going on, Ohio Valley meteorologist Tyler Vanji? You've made it to the middle of the work week. It's finally time to start looking towards that weekend, but will it be a nice weekend where we can just kick back and relax in the sunshine? I think Mother Nature has something completely in, in stores for us. But locally, satellite and radar just picking up on a few passing clouds, some radar indicated mixed precipitation out there. That will continue into the morning. We have a, a little bit of a disturbance off to our west. That's going to continue to roll through, bringing some snow as we step into the morning. It's not a whole lot of snow, but it is very short lived. Something to look at once again. It feels like we've been dealing with that for now three mornings in a row. Upper air pattern showcasing so southwesterly winds. Here comes that little bit of low pressure or that uh, upper upper air disturbance as it rolls through. I don't want to call it a low pressure, but still uh, just passing through, giving us, uh, giving us a little bit of snow. My eyes are drawn towards the west coast. Everybody's been talking about this Arctic outbreak that is in store for us after we head through the weekend. Well, looking off towards the west coast, they're going to deal with that Thursday into Friday. So closing out their work week with the Arctic blast. But heading closer to your Friday, we're actually going to assist in a little bit of a warm up. Once again, all too familiar pattern. We just dealt with this. We're going to deal with it again. It's going to roll through, bring breezy conditions through your Friday, transition that rain into snow as we close out Friday. Heading into Saturday, we could wake up to a little bit of snow out there. So we'll break that down in predictor. But temperatures today, 41 degrees. We break our average once again. It's been an above average day, and it feels like it's been like that over the past few days. So we continue to climb above average, and then we drop back down. That's the trend. 31 degrees for our overnight low is a little bit warmer than where we should be. So the snow that we see in the morning, it will be very short lived. It's not going to stick around, make that winter wonderland. But moving forward, we could see those overnight lows closer to that average. And if we do see, see a nice system bringing us precipitation, most likely it's going to fall in the form of snowfall. And we could actually see it stick to the ground then. But that's not until the, the long term. But looking at your temperature and dew point, rather saturated in the morning after lunchtime, not so saturated. But the winds, they'll stay there. So that means snow up until about lunchtime. Then we'll start to fade it out. The cloud coverage, unfortunately, still stuck over us. Now, here's how it all plays out. I talked about that disturbance. It's off towards Illinois, Indiana for the current time being. But as it rolls through, just getting the bottom clipping us right between 7 and 9 a.m. So heading closer to lunchtime, very short lived. The best chance to see it if you live in the northern portion of the panhandle as it decides to roll through. But it's trending dry. We'll lack in terms of moisture after that. A little bit of chance to see some sunshine as we close out your Thursday, but not a whole lot of time left in the day. We will wake up with another chance Friday morning, but here comes that zero stratus, that stubborn, thin, wispy clouds that give your sky that white appearance instead of the blue skies and sunshine. So very uh, short lived, but a chance to see sunshine as this rain decides to roll through. There's your warm front heading into the afternoon and evening. The breezy conditions right around five o'clock before we see that low wrap around, giving us a chance to see snow Friday night into Saturday. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Don't forget about the breezy conditions. Sunday, finally taking a break, a little bit of flurries, but we'll step into Monday picking up those chances once again for some snowfall. Check out the overnight lows though. Monday into Tuesday, right around the 10s.